What's up guys? It's been a long time since I've made a video. Uh, getting back into the hockey stuff. I know it's a baseball channel, but I'll be posting a lot of hockey this winter. Have some videos to edit. And I've been really busy moving and with school. Uh, I had a lot of this. <laughs> a lot of homework. But, um, kind of moved. And, uh, yeah, getting into this video, I'm going to be doing three reviews. Uh, three separate videos. Today is on my middle stick. I'm going to move this, adjust that, and as you can see I have the Bauer Vapor APX2 and then I have the Reebok 20K, which is a pro issue to Bo Bennett of the Pittsburgh Penguins, which is about a 102 flex right now. This one's an 87, because this came as a 96 flex I believe it was, but it was really tall and I had to cut it. I probably cut 6 inches off, probably 5, 6 inches, so I probably made it to about 102 or more, and um, that one's 87. This one is 87, 85. So I just got this one the other day. Uh, it's pretty light. It's not as light as the APX2. I really like that. I've used that stick for two and a half years, almost three years. I've used the 20K for about a year. Uh, I just, I've never found a stick as nice as the APX2. The only thing that's come close is my uh, CCM Crazy Light, which was an 85 flex Ovechkin curve. And it was the blue with no grip. I wish if it had grip, it'd probably be my favorite stick ever, but it didn't. But to this stick. So it's, I don't know exactly how tall it is, but it's a senior 85 flex with grip. Uh, the McKinnon P40 curve, pretty, pretty common curve. I've never used a curve like this. It's new to me. I've always used an Ovechkin or uh, something close to it. This is pretty close to Ovechkin. Um, Ovechkin's just a little bit more of a toe, but it's pretty close. And this is a Backstrom, and um, this one is a uh, obviously Bo Bennett. It's pretty much again like an Ovechkin curve. I've always used something really similar to that, but I've had probably six sticks with an Ovechkin curve, and this one's a lot different, as you can see there. It's more of just a toe curve. It kind of it's kind of straight, and then it curves at the end, and it doesn't really like round up. If that makes any sense. It's not really an open curve, it's kind of a closed curve, and it's it's a bit different. Slap shots are different. Uh, it has really good pop on it, you know, it's a really loud stick when you take a snapshot. Um, the Reebok is not, that's a slap shot stick. Uh, it's stiff, the sick kick technology, the good grip on it, it's just a, that's a slap shot stick right here. I don't know about the stock ones, because this is totally different than a stock Reebok 20K. I always wanted a stock one. Um, this one... Like it has a totally different design on it than a stock one. Like it's it's different. It doesn't have like the concave feel. But uh, for this one, it's definitely just slap shots. I can't even take a wrist shot very really well with it or a um, snap shot. Maybe that's because it's a hundred and some flex. <sighs> I gotta get pup out of here. But uh, this one is a uh, really good snap shot and wrist shot stick. I don't really like slap shots with it, at least yet. I've only used it once. But the snapshot, the pop is unreal. I love it. It's loud. The crisp, the catching the puck is crisp. I love the colorway of it, as you can see. It's a, it's a cool looking stick. The rib core. Uh, the trigger. This is last year's model. I got this for like a hundred and, I think it was like a hundred and sixty nine dollars. Uh, brand new. That's why I got it. And then you got the CCM there in white. It looks really good. This has like that concave grip, as you can see, it goes in goes in right here and this one's got a good warranty a 30-day warranty may not be good to a lot of people but to me it is I usually don't break a stick that quick but in case and um, this one again has that a little bit of concave it's not too much though it's just barely now, this one is pretty significant like you can see it this one you can't but you can just slightly slightly feel it and then the uh, the uh, 20k has has none but uh, like I said the stock the stock retail 20k I believe did but as you see this one's a Backstrom 87 P92 curve but um, yeah I've used this one for a good almost three years and it still hasn't broke but you can tell it's losing its pop um, you really you really have to cock back and take a good shot <clears throat> but before it was effortless now this stick the snapshots are effortless 
and the wrist shots are pretty effortless and um, slap shots are, I, I gotta get used to it it's it's actually taller than that one but it, when I'm skating it doesn't feel like it I think it's because I don't have much of a knob here right now <laughs> it, and it kind of it feels weird this the edge kind of hurts my hand uh, through my hockey glove but overall it's a light stick um, it's it's got a decent like it's not too heavy down low it's pretty balanced it's got a nice concave grip to it it's grippy uh, it's got a decent curve so far like I like it so far I just it takes time to get used to it because it's nothing like what I've used before I'll definitely show you guys my crazy light and stuff like that in a different video it's back home I have a crazy light I've used an AI 9 which I don't have anymore uh, I gave it to her sold to my friend I really wish I would have kept it though it'd been a cool one to keep in the collection because I like to keep my sticks and um, I, I had an RBZ, the first one, and then these two. A couple cheaper CCMs, like U plus 8, U plus 10. But, yeah, I mean, so far I really like the stick. Through my review of it, I mean, good grip, good concave grip, lightweight, good pop on a snapshot, good wrist shot, good flex. Doesn't flex too much for an 85. It's pretty good, but it's definitely not too stiff. And uh, the biggest part is it's really light, and I like that a lot. Um, it's pretty much as light as my APX2, barely different, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll probably come out with a review on the APX2 next, and then the 20K, and then I have a couple gloves that I am looking at buying right now for this coming season. Um, Amateur is going to be fun. I've talked to my coach. It's okay with wearing a GoPro, and especially in practices, I already knew I could do that, but in games, it's okay, and I'll be catching a lot, so it's going to be really fun. Definitely subscribe if you want to see some game footage. It's gonna be really cool. I'll probably do like game day vlogs like every week because we have a game every Sunday. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.